اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moving on, that now we have assessed the collinearity, the next step is assessing the structural relationship. Now this is your step 2, assessing the structural relationships. As part of step 2, in the next step, that is your step 2, the significance of path coefficients and relevance of path coefficient is evaluated. Now a path coefficient is significant at 5% level if the value 0 does not fall in the 95% confidence interval. That is your results or there is no 0 in between the 95% confidence interval. Bias corrected confidence interval. The bias corrected confidence interval. We are going to look into this in a few minutes. Now in terms of relevance, the path coefficient usually between minus 1 to plus 1 with coefficient closer to minus 1 representing strong negative relationship and those closer to plus 1 indicate strong positive relationship note that the values below minus 1 and above plus 1 may technically occur for instance when collinearity is at very high levels now path coefficients larger than 1 are not acceptable and multi collinearity reduction methods must be implemented as pls scm processes standardized data the path coefficient indicate the changes in the endogenous construct that is your dependent variable that are associated with with standard deviation unit changes in a certain predictor construct holding all other predictor constructs constant so for example a path coefficient of 0.505 indicates that when a predictor construct increases by one standard deviation unit the change in the endogenous construct is 0.5 505 standard deviation units next in the structural model assessment procedure that is your step 2 we need to evaluate the relevance and significance of structural paths whether the impact of x on y is significant or not again to do so we will have to run our bootstrapping procedure we will have to bootstrap the model and then assign that bootstrap model to a summary object now how to do this let's first do our bootstrapping let's say where is our bootstrap here is your bootstrap model now look at this here let's run it now sum in our model successfully bootstrap now that it is bootstrap i need the summary how do i get the summary i have to call in summary function give it the bootstrapped model mention the alpha value and this will put in all the summary in this object so let's run it and now it's there so what do i want let's look at the output okay so let's go in and look at the output now here is the output so let's say how do you get this output so let's say summary underscore boot and then at the dollar sign what do you want i want bootstrap paths let's say so let's run it now here are my results look at the relevance well this is not that good but is it significant Well yes it is significant there is no zero in between these two values now look at this t statistic although this is less than 1.96 but we can say it is to a certain extent significant now this is quite significant the t value is high as well the t value is high there is no zero in between so this shows that the impact of development on collaborative culture rewards on collaborative culture both of them are significant and this can be referred to as partially significant as well now let's look at this first let's consider the original path coefficient estimates that is this column here for the exogenous driver construct for example we find that vision development rewards have a significant positive impact on collaborative culture yes the impact is positive but is it significant for that you will have to look into your t statistics and this bias corrected confidence interval let's now review the results for statistical significance assuming a 5% confidence level as specified with the parameter earlier in the bootstrap model the t values that is your t statistics here should exceed 1.96 in order to show that yes the relationships were significant is it exceeding 1.96 no but it is very close to 1.96 and again there is no zero here in between so we can 
obviously say that to a certain extent there is a significant impact of collaborative culture on vision also path coefficient is significant at 5% level since the value 0 does not fall into 95% confidence interval there is no zero between 2.5% confidence interval and 95 97.5% confidence interval is there a zero in between no is there a zero in between no is there a zero in between no in the next session we are going to look into the explanatory power that is your step 3 of structural model assessment thank you very much